Hi, this is Matt, and this is a really quick video on how to export from Final Cut Pro X. So I'm right here in Final Cut Pro X. I've got a video on my timeline, as you see, a really simple uh, little project here. This is just my standard kind of template for YouTube videos. As you can see, there's a picture of me that appears in the bottom here, and you can see at the top of the timeline. Then we've got the main video here with the audio and I've got the outro here and the background music tracks in green here on the bottom. So it's just a really simple uh, timeline, a really simple project. So in order to export, all we're gonna do is we're gonna come up to the top here uh, to file and then share here. So we've got different options. We've got, they have DVD at the top here for some reason, which I always find a little bit bizarre. Uh, then we can export as a file. Uh, so this is the default option. Uh, then we've got Apple devices 720p, we've got Apple devices 1080, we've got Apple devices 4K, which is one that I usually use for YouTube. Uh, then we've got social platforms, there's various options there. And then we've got this final option here for the HEVC, high efficiency video option. So I'm not gonna go through all of these today. Uh, so this is mainly gonna be for if you're exporting uh, as a basic sort of YouTube uh, video project. Uh, so the one that I prefer to use for that is the Apple Devices 4K. Here I've experimented with a lot of them. I export originally all of my videos into 4K, uh, mostly out of uh, Screen Studio, and then I export the video into uh, Final Cut and edit things here. So, like I say, it's a very simple way of doing it. So you're just going to go to File at the top there. Uh, then we're going across down to share and we're going to choose Apple devices 4k. So once we click that one, we're presented with this screen here. So at the bottom, you'll see all of your settings that you have. So you've got things like the runtime of the video. Uh, it's going to be exporting to MP4 format, which is perfectly fine for YouTube. We can see that it's set as Apple devices 4k here, and this is the resolution here. So 3840 by 2160 for 4k and it's in 60 fps so you can change that uh, if you want different frames per second uh, and then we see the audio de uh, details here in 48 kilohertz so we can now go across to so we've got settings so what we can do here is uh, so the various formats here um i just leave it set onto a computer so we can then i always go for better rather than faster uh, and you've got a few more options here, but I always go for this H264 one for YouTube. Uh, different people have different opinions on that as far as um, which is uh, the best one to go for here. Obviously, there's a certain amount of controversy here, but that's the one that I go for, and I think it's perfectly fine. And then we can set our resolution here, so I just leave it on the 4K resolution there, as I don't want to do any weird cropping or anything like that. So I leave the chapter markers in, I leave this uh, checkbox for allow export segmentation in there as well. And then for the action, I just choose save only. So we can have it open straight away in VLC, uh, which is uh, VLC media player is my kind of default media player on this computer. But yeah, I just go, uh, go for save only and that will save to the destination you set in your settings. So for me, uh, that is my desktop. So it will just save the file directly onto my desktop. And then we click next and we get to decide where, so I can put it in somewhere other than the desktop if I want to, it defaults to the desktop. And then we're just gonna name the file. So obviously name the file, how you want it to be. And then you're just gonna click save. And then that will export the video. You'll see the exporting up here. And then once the video is finished, you can go to your desktop or wherever it is. I, I just have it go to the desktop on my Mac and your video will be there. So that was a really simple version. There's obviously different ways to export videos. That was how to export a video uh, to be in a good format to actually use on YouTube. So I've just exported as an MP4 in pretty high definition settings and I've just left all the 4K on. I haven't done any scaling or weirdness. Mm -hmm.